Someone had to start. The list of reasons is long, but OLED display technology is undoubtedly superior to IPS technology, and we feel that the market was waiting for too long for manufacturers to start adopting it. However, ASUS emerged as the boldest one out there, as it's the first to update an extensive list of its laptops with OLED panels. The star of today's review is the VivoBook 15 OLED K513, and it's not an ordinary office machine. It's aimed at young adults and students. It weighs 1.8 kilos and is pretty thin with its 17.9 millimeter profile. The lid is made out of metal, while the body is plastic. However, the manufacturer has done a good job to support it internally with a metal bracket so there's no flexing. The keyboard features a backlight and a full-size numpad, while offering a good typing experience thanks to the 1.4mm key travel. The touchpad has good gliding and a satisfying clicking mechanism, plus an integrated fingerprint reader for some configurations. The VivoBook 15's I.O. features a total of four USB ports, three regular ones, and one Type-C. In addition, you get an HDMI 1.4 connector, an audio jack, and a micro SD card reader. It's good to see that the upgrade options of the K513 include not just an M.2 PCIe X4 slot for SSDs, but also a 2.5-inch SATA drive bay for your old hard disk or SSD, so you could take advantage of both fast speed and high capacity. Also, you get a SODIMM slot in addition to either 4 or 8 gigabytes of soldered RAM. And now comes the star of the show, the OLED display. It has a full HD resolution and reaches nearly 400 nits with HDR turned off. The true blacks result in an infinite contrast ratio and higher perceived brightness. This means you can use your device at a lower brightness value, which preserves battery life. What's even more impressive is the color coverage. The laptop can display both the sRGB and DCI-P3 color gamuts fully, which means that you'll see punchy and vibrant picture. And it looks even better thanks to the narrow bezels. The screen-to-body ratio is 85%. Also, we can't miss the fact that the pixel response times of this panel are blazingly quick, essentially beating every IPS and TN display out there. We have to keep in mind that this is a budget-conscious machine, and its battery is relatively small, 42 watt-hours. However, we're satisfied with the results from our tests. More than 9 hours of web browsing, or about 7 hours of video playback. This means that ASUS has done a good job optimizing the notebook. The processors have their role in that, as the K513 is offered with ultra-low voltage Tiger Lake U CPUs. The most powerful configuration includes a Core i7-1165G7, paired with a GeForce MX350. Looking at the cooling setup, we see two things. It uses an upgraded 8mm heat pipe, and perhaps more importantly, the voltage regulation is also being cooled by a metal heat spreader. Due to the well-calculated solution, our machine's Core i5-1135G7 is able to maintain a frequency of about 3 GHz under extreme load for a long period of time. The temperature is not too high, and it hits the 28-watt power target. Thankfully, the keyboard doesn't get too warm, and the heat is isolated in the numpad area, away from the more frequently used parts of the board. Also, the laptop was fairly quiet, which is impressive. As with every device out there, the VivoBook 15 OLED K513 is not a laptop without disadvantages. Two of its USB ports are running at 2.0 speeds, while the panel flickers at low brightness. However, everything else greatly belittles the aforementioned issues. The I.O. is really extensive, while the display is absolutely fantastic. Its vibrant colors are satisfying to look at, while the true blacks produced by turning off the pixels generate a contrasty image, making all scenes pop. It also has the power to run light games and pro-grade tasks like photo editing, while offering decent battery life. It's nice to see that ASUS has achieved all that at such a price point. Of course, we've done a lot more tests and you can check out all the results in our in-depth review on LaptopMedia.com.
you'll find the link in the description below the video.